Awesome. Dwight is now gone, which is totally awesome. Why was he gone? He was such a nice guy. No, he was not. He was a total douche. Doompa dee doom. But anyway, then the position was his to fill, and he chose. We are a group six and our TV show is called Under New Management. Our TV show is about a small produce company called Citrus Sales, which is based out of Tampa, Florida, and recently opened a new branch close by in St. Petersburg that is desperately in need of new management. Our show will be directed at a target audience of young adults between the ages of 19 and 27 years of age and college students who are just entering the workforce. Our show, our show will focus on whistleblowing, strategic planning, decision making both as a group and as a visual, and swift trusts for our target management concepts. Citrus Sales has branches throughout the United States but recently opened up a nearby office in St. Petersburg, Florida. After being open for over a year, the St. Pete branch complained that they have been running incorrectly and are in need of new management. The company recently transferred their best manager from Tampa to St. Petersburg to oversee the new branch. Although the new manager is experienced and knowledgeable, she will face obstacles gaining the trust of her new employees. While viewing under new management, you will see that the new manager will implement new policies that will help accomplish the goals of the organization. The new manager's main goal of each episode will to be effectively implementing the management concept in a way that will help the organization's goals be achieved. The storyline for our TV show is that Tina, the new manager, moves between different branches of Citrus Sales to attempt to make the new, the new office more successful, only to be met with conflicting personalities and obstacles that are going to make her job more difficult. However, she is up to the challenge and is going to push herself and each employee to their full potential. Some of the conflicts that Tina is going to face will be among the different employees in the office. Tina will have to deal with Gary the misogynist, which we will use as an example of morals and rights in the workplace. Tom's character is constantly making advances on Gabriella which will depict how to deal with the relationship within the company. And lastly, there is Aaron and John, who will both be trying to get Tina to quit and competing against each other to take her position if she is to leave. To start our character introductions, we have the new branch manager, Tina. She has been a manager within Citrus Sales for five years and is ready to take over the new St. Petersburg office. She is an ambitious and driven towards the company's goal of being the best citrus produce company in the industry. Tina has helped make many offices around the United States successful. Tina has helped increase productivity and customer service within her employees. With her multiple years of experience, she has gained the reputation of being able to apply the four principal managerial functions to her offices that have needed help in increasing their productivity. Our next character is Gary, the sales rep. Gary has worked in sales for a while, but this is his first time selling produce. In the past, he has struggled with learning the lingo that is used within the produce industry. Gary is a misogynist and not a big fan of his new boss, Tina, being a woman. Gary is a know-it-all and hates to be told he's wrong. 
He is recently divorced, and due to struggles of the divorce, he has started to become an alcoholic. Gary and Tom have started to become better friends, and the two of them frequently go out for drinks after work. They have started to lose focus at work, and it is affecting their productivity. During the first year of operations for this office, he had the number one sales and was one of the best, yet he feels like his accomplishments are ignored. He is determined to prove that he is number one in the entire company and will be happy when Tina acknowledges his impressive sales and starts using rewards and incentives for the best sales of the week. Aaron is the office assistant. While he may be dedicated to the office, he is constantly trying to gain seniority in any way possible. He is known as the whistleblower due to his role in getting the previous manager fired, which makes other employees wary of what they say around him. When the previous manager was fired, Aaron thought that he could have he would get the position. He has some animosity towards Tina for taking the job that he thought was rightfully his. He will soon start to appreciate Tina and all the work she does for the office, and also becomes more liked among his peers because he will bridge the gap between the boss and the employees. Gabriella is the company's logistics representative. She is extremely hardworking and, and very excited to have another woman in the office. She views Tina's arrival as a personal edge for her advancement in the company. Gabriella is in a relationship, but that doesn't stop her from flirting with Tom since they are the only two employees that are close in age. Tina will encourage her to take on more responsibilities within the company if she wants to have a real shot at advancement. Our last character is Tom. Tom is a recent college graduate and is excited to be out in the real world making money. He is the newest employee and has the worst sales for the year. This is his first sales job, but regardless, he is starting to get discouraged at his ability to succeed in the produce industry. Tom is excited for Tina to work in the office. Tina is going to help him develop relationships with clients and get a better understanding of the industry. He is going to face the maturity problems within the office. He is constantly making advances towards Gabriella and is easily swayed by Gary to drink after work. In our first episode of Under New Management, we are going to introduce the office environment while it is still under the old management. Aaron will make his whistleblowing calls to the corporate office about how poorly the branch is being ran. He will later be informed that there is a new manager being moved to St. Petersburg and she will be starting at the end of the week. The next part of the episode will, one, will be the first introduction on, of Tina. She will have the CEO contacting her to ask her to help a branch just over the bridge from Tampa in St. Pete. Tina will gladly accept the offer as the new manager of the St. Pete location. In the second episode, Tina will enter her new office to find the employees chatting by the coffee bot anxiously awaiting her arrival. She handles introductions and then asks everyone to carry out their day as normal so she can absorb their daily tasks. As expected, everyone is on their best behavior, but it only lasts a short period of time before chaos begins to ensue. Tina realizes she needs a game plan and she needs one fast. She observes every employee and makes a note of all their negative attributes as well as the need for structure and organization within the office. She holds a meeting at the end of the day to explain to everyone that there are going to be a big changes to the way the office operates in order to make it a more successful branch. In episode three, Tina finds the employees standing by the coffee pot again at the beginning of the day and asks everyone to meet in the conference room before their workday starts. Tina is excited and eager to help this office become a better work environment. She starts the day by having everyone participate in a team building exercise in order to promote better decision making among her employees. Tina has them all work as one group to plan their winter holiday party so that everyone will enjoy it. Tina makes it a point to also work in the group to demonstrate that she is part of the team and is going to lead the decision-making process to help them analyze all the alternatives and criteria their holiday party has to meet. 
Episode 4 has finally had some things starting to look more promising for Tina, but there's still a lot to be done. Tina has lunch with Gabriella and Aaron and learns that the old manager barely communicates with the employees. She sends a memo to her staff asking them to allow time at the end of the day for another quick conference. Gary is starting to get annoyed at all of these meetings, but it is the only way to ensure that the whole office is on the same page. In the meeting, Tina asks her staff what they have as a general vision for the company and how they think they could be more successful than their competitors. She takes everyone's responses and formulates a plan to move forward with the company in an effective and efficient way. Coming up next week on Under New Management, Tina will continue to work with her new employees to achieve a better work environment. Each episode of Under New Management will coincide the topic of that week's assigned chapter with the conflict depicting on the episode of Under New Management. Tina will eventually have her team working together in an efficient and productive manner thanks to her ability to properly execute the four principal managerial functions. This show will be a nail-biting economy that will have you wondering what will happen next week in this with this extremely diverse cast. Tina will have this office working at its full potential, but Tina won't be there forever. Who will take over when Tina needs to help out a new branch? Will Tina be missed when she does have to leave? Only time will tell who will be under new management.